Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to add opening balances in Zero. Let's begin. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here in Zero, signing up an account is very easy because you can start a 30 day free trial. Just provide all the information. You need to follow the on screen instructions. And once you've done that, you are all set. Now, once you are here, adding opening balances in zero is essential for accurate financial reporting and ensure that your accounting records reflect the true financial position of your business. So for us to be able to add opening balances in zero, all we need to do first is now we need to hover to the accounting section right here. Click on it. Now click on advanced. And once you've done that, is say for example you have trial balances or you have like a spreadsheet of payables. Now the first option that we are going to select is the fixed assets, right? And then go to the conversion balances. Now here's the thing. So basically, you can add your debit um, information here, such as the amount, right? Say, for example, we are going to put like a thousand or maybe like a hundred or twenty. That for now, let's make it a thousand. As you can see, there's an option here for add to new line. Now, you have an option when you add a credit if this balance is comprised of multiple currencies. If do so, click on edit this multi currency. If that's the case, all right. But if not, just leave it as it is. Now, in this option right here, you can add a new line, and from here, as you can see, you have another option like cash discrepancies and to categorize I income, vendor refunds. If you add a new account, say for example, maybe um other income for say. You can put the code, say for example this one, and you can put a short title. You can also put a description, and once you've done that, you can click on this option right here and click on save if you want to add it. Now you can add, say, say for example, a fee that's like a 50 or 20. And from here, if you're happy with that, just click on save. Remember that if you are transitioning from another accounting system to zero adding opening balances such as this one ensures continuity in financial reporting because it would allow you to carry over balances from your previous system and maintain historical data integrity of course without opening balances your financial reports may not align with their actual financial position as you can see you also have an option here in the right side panel Wherein, when you click on this one, you can enter any other balances, like add any other accounts to like a transition over here. You can even run a trial balance report in your old system to find these balances. You can also enter a total outstanding bills on this date. And there are more options for you. You can run a trial balance report in your old system to find this balance, along with any others you'd like to enter. You can also enter total outstanding invoices on this date. All right. Now, if you're happy, all you have to do is confirm your balances at the date above right here. And you'll next is need to enter any outstanding invoices and bills equal to the accounts receivable and payable totals. All right. And if you're happy with that, all you're going to do is click on save. And once we've done that, what will happen is you've already added an opening balance here in zero. If you encounter any error like this, maybe there's a plot problem with the... Uh, some sections here say for example just delete this one all right and try to save it now as you can see if there's an error in the line section all you're gonna do is confirm the information now if you have more questions about adding opening balances here in zero you might want to go here in the search option click on that and right here it's a step-by-step -step guideline on 
enter opening bank account balances and i believe that's a wrap for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next one